Wanna be Ryan the Great, and today we are reacting to the Carolina Panthers hiring Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator Dave Canales as head coach of their football team. Bit of an interesting move by the Carolina Panthers. They just hired him today, and we'll see how he does work out. So just a bit of updates before we get into it. Um, we obviously have this video for today. We're going to have a um, Raheem Morris uh, video as he just got hired by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, not Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Atlanta Falcons, literally like five seconds before um, I started filming this video. Um, and then sat with no video on Friday, that being tomorrow, uh, January 26th. Um, if nothing else happens, that is big time news. Saturday, we'll have uh, Rumble predictions, and yeah, that'll do it for the week. Then we'll start Sunday off with predictions for the NFC and uh, AFC championship games. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in the video, into this video. But before we get into it, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, please post notifications on, go subscribe to my brother on the great vlogs. Make sure you guys go subscribe to my second channel at Ryan the Cog Great. Make sure you guys go follow me on X at Ryan the Great RTG. Make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok at Ryan the Great RTG. Make sure you guys go listen to the latest edition of the Star 7 Podcast. And make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter on the great podcast. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, for the video, let's roll that intro. What would it be, Ryan the Great? And today, it'll be intercepted! The defensive line. What the hell are you doing? You no effort whatsoever when it came to the defense. That, he is 0 for 2 today. Come on, Stotty. Stop! 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 Red Slayer! First pitch! Bring him in! Brian! Stop! Bring that! Yes! Yeah. Oh, damn. One, two, three. What? All right, let's get into the video. So starting off, what does this mean for Dave Canales? Well, I'm not entirely sure why he took the job. I guess maybe he knows Mike Evans is going to leave the Carolina Panthers and not the Carolina Panthers. Why do I keep saying this? Uh, why do I keep messing up the teams? Going to leave the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and maybe Baker Mayfield won't be as good because of that. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. Um, you know, he's in the facility. He probably knows more. He obviously knows more than we do. Um, but I feel like if he just could have had a little you know, a bit more good few years in Tampa saying that you would do that. Um, you know, you could have taken a better job in a better situation when the time is right. Um, you know, he's one of the most underrated co uh, coordinators in the NFL right now. I feel like, you know, he's been able to develop quarterbacks, get them back on their feet. Um, you know, that being some quarterbacks. And I just feel like, you know, he's just going to be blamed after a few years um, if things don't really work out. But what does this mean for the Carolina Panthers? Well, this is a bit of a random hire, I'm not going to lie. I understand the motives behind it, because obviously Dave Canales has done really well when it comes to developing quarterbacks and helping quarterbacks in their careers. Obviously, he was coaching Russell Wilson when Wilson had that 2020 campaign, and he threw for over 4,000 passing yards, one, arguably one of the best seasons of his career. Um, he helped revive Geno Smith's career the, the year after Russell Wilson was traded, um, you know, and most recently was able to help revive Baker Mayfield's career as the offensive coordinator, uh, made it all the way to the divisional round after some people didn't even have them winning the division or making the playoffs in general. Um, so definitely an accomplishment for uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Dave Canales. Um, but I feel like for the Carolina Panthers, you know, he obviously has the credentials, but at the current moment in time, he's probably not the best hire. The best hire, in my opinion, would, would have been Mike Vrabel if you would have thrown a boatload of money at him. Now with the Atlanta Falcons recently hiring, um, what do you call it, uh, Raheem Morris, they don't, you know, there are too many head coaching openings left. You could have Mike Vrabel as a head coach, who is one of the best head coaches on the market at the current moment in time. Um, and, you know, if you just throw a boatload of money at him, who the hell are you paying? You're not paying too many people. Um then you could have one of the best head coaches and start winning in about a year. And if, you know, you don't have a good next two years uh, as an organization, then Bryce Young's career is going to be shot. And then he's going to be up for a new contract and there's going to be a dispute on whether to pay him or not. And he's just going to look, not be good, not be what he used to be at Alabama. So 
you know, unless this is a, in my opinion, a boom or bust situation for the Carolina Panthers. If this does not work out, then Bryce Young's career could be shot, and it's not even an like, over exaggeration. They really, really, really need to make this work. And if it doesn't work in the next three years, uh, which I would hope, I would assume that's how long he's going to be there. I would hope. Um, then you know he's not. Then he's going to career is going to be shot. Um, and also, I feel like there are more problem, a lot more problems outside of Bryce Young. Like Bryce Young wasn't bad at all. Um, he obviously wasn't, you know, C.J. Stroud level of, um, you know, greatness. Because I think C.J. Stroud was great this year. Um, he wasn't on C.J. Stroud's level, but he I, I wasn't bad at all. It was the team around him when the, you know, the corpse of Adam Thielen is your number one receiver and your second receiver is, uh, you know, rookie second rounder Jonathan Mingo. You know, you, you're not going to get too much done with that. You got a bad offensive line. You got an average running back of Miles Sanders. Yes, Miles Sanders is an average running back that played uh, against, uh, played behind a good offensive line with the Eagles. Let's stop pretending. I mean, I don't know why people love him so much. Um, and then your defense, you know, Brian Burns is really good, but how much can he really do? You don't really got, you got, what, Horn as your, uh, in your secondary, like, you don't got a defense to help you. Your coaching obviously wasn't good. Your coach gets fired in the middle of the season. Um, so, yeah, it's not looking good in Carolina. Hopefully, Canales can revive this team, but they really need to get to work this offseason. They need to give Bryce Young some, some receivers. They honestly probably need to more protect him. They need to get him an offensive line. Um, they don't have any draft picks to do it, so they're going to have to go do it in free agency. We'll see what they do, though. Um, hopefully this works out for them. I'm not rooting against Canales. I think he did a, had a great game plan against the Philadelphia Eagles, and we'll have to see. Um, that'll do for this video, guys. And when I say the Eagles, I mean in the divisional round, not in the Week 4 game or whatever, just to clarify. That'll do for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe and post notifications on. Go subscribe to my, my brother, Lily Ray Vlogs. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel at Ryan Lee Kyle Great. Make sure you guys go find me on the exit, Ryan Lee RTG. Make sure you guys go find me on TikTok at Ryan Lee RTG. Make sure you guys go listen to the latest edition of the Star 7 Podcast. And make sure you guys go find me on Twitch at Ryan Lee Podcast. And as always, Ryan Lee Great out. Peace.